What's good with the YouTube? You already know Big Flacco with the convicts perspective, man. And I'm gonna smash, dash, and slide on through. That little bit of energy, man. What's good with it? Hope everybody's having an inspired day. Keep on striving. Stay positive, man, and keep it pushing. So before we go any further, though, I want you guys to hit the like, comment, subscribe, and get that bell notification for future content. So as you guys know, about two weeks ago, I, I, I dropped a video. It's been doing really good. It was about the Sudanios who uh, jumped in and supported the Nortenos that were getting rushed by some Africanos in a building over there in high desert, and it turned into a riot later on as far as on the yard or melee, whatever you want to call it. Now, there, around 2015, when they first started kicking these guys out, around 2017, 18 is when they first started to do the non-designated program yards, right? The NDPs, which is we had actives and inactives. They would merge them together. And this was going on at different locations. I think, uh, you know, Kern Valley, there was a situation. Soledad, all these different locations, man. Lower level classified yards. You know what I'm saying? And there was an incident that happened in, I believe, Soledad is what I was told. Okay. A certain Sureño was on the yard, got to the yard, right? And this yard was just being merged. Barely got merged, right? And I think on this yard, it was more, uh, it was more of an SNY group that was out there. And allegedly, when he got to the yard, you know, uh, this was around 2017, 2018. He was from Orange County. Okay, when he got to the yard, he instantly got jammed up. Okay, now he got jammed up by some some dudes he believed to be Southsiders, right? The thing was is that these guys weren't even Southsiders. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I don't know the exact number, but I think there was somewhere between six to eight people ended up trying to rush him. Okay. At that time, when they instantly started to merge these yards at that time, there was instant chaos. A lot of people were getting off. A lot of people locked it up, okay? As he got rushed, right? You got to remember, this is a newly non-designated program yard. This is one that, see, they've been doing this reintegration for about the last four to five years, guys. It's been going on a lot longer than you guys may know, but now it's being more emphasized. You know what I'm saying? Um, so when he got rushed, right, at first he was overwhelmed. You know, of course, you know, like you got six to eight guys. And he said that the next thing you know, he's seen that the North, active North Daniels that had just got to that facility as well, had jumped in and supported him. You know what I'm saying? And he, he his attitude was a little bit different because he's a traditional down south Sudanian, Orange County, but he's been up in Northern California. And so even when he was up in Northern California, based upon the fact that he was kicking it with upstate Sudanians while he was out there, you know, he'd get into little conflicts here and there, little skirmishes. And he kind of said that he knew what the North Daniels were about. They were about that action. And this kind of changed his whole uh, thinking process that, you know, when he experienced this, these guys came to rush him. And next thing you know, the North Daniels fucking jumped, jumped in and got off on the two fighters. So this was around, I think, 2017, 2018, he said, man. And um, it makes sense. You know, um, he said that if, if they wouldn't have jumped in, they would have got his ass pretty bad. He said he was already feeling overwhelmed from the gate. You know what I'm saying? And he's seen it coming. And that, you know, this was in a, a situation just like the thing that happened over there in High Desert to where the North Daniels came and assisted the Sudanos. And that's where I said it's, it's like that almost in every yard. And it kind of it kind of makes sense, right? Because when I was in Corcoran Shoe, last time I was there, it was in like 2005, we had already had a policy with the Sudanos and the AB and whatnot that if any of their trash were there and the doors popped open, we were going to engage. And that if, if our door popped open with them, we were going to stand down, they were going to stand down. Unless it was someone that we planned on fucking moving on. Like that we couldn't get. Say if someone disrespected the homeboys, we put a green light just on that individual. And we know what the consequences are going to be afterwards. You know, after the diplomatic uh, politics start to play. So, uh, yeah, this has made sense. And when I heard this, it was like, wow, like, you know, this shit's really been going on for a minute. And they've been reintegrating people for a while, but they haven't been doing it like on the level threes, level fours. They started to do it on the level threes a little bit. And what they do is they just, like I said, the correctional officer told me that the other day that they're bringing these guys to the yard and they're writing them up as mutual combats instead of melees. So you say you're on a yard that's already established with SNY groups on it, right? And they're calling these yards non-designated program, which means anybody could be there. So say you bring a fucking bus of actives and there's like two North Daniels, two Sureños, they end up getting off or some of them lock it up and stay. It's as simple as that. 
But if you show any sign of, of aggression, there's going to be those that are going to be ready to get on that helmet. You know what I'm saying? And this has been going on. This isn't the only incident, man. But I thought it was kind of interesting because, you know, when have, I, when have you really heard North Daniels and Soldados defending each other in prison, man? It's going down a lot more than people realize, man. It's happening, you know. And I've heard, I've had people reach out to me since the video on the Soldados uh, back in North Daniels. And there's been a lot of positive feedback, of course. There's been some, there's always going to be those that want to sit there and pipe in and sit there and say, well, fuck that. There'll never be any peace or you need this or you need that. The truth of it is, is this, right? Whatever you feel is right don't mean shit. You don't make the rules. These organizations make the rules. Either you're going to comply or you're going to be considered a fucking PC. That's just what it is. You may feel like fuck a buster, fuck a scrap, whatever, right? It don't matter if you feel that way because you got no say so. You got no say so if there's going to be unity. You got no say so if there's going to be, you know, working relationships. You got no say so if you're supposed to jump for each other. If you want to go against the grain, then you can go to the SMY side. Because if you voice your opinion in prison against all this, they're going to deal with it. You know, the streets is the streets. It's a whole different ballgame. You know what I'm saying? Down south, they still fucking war with each other. Up north, upstaters still go out of North Daniels. And this even set tripping up north. But... It shocks me because, man, like all the stuff I've been hearing like the last like two years since doing YouTube, I never thought I would experience and see this stuff, man. That you'd have actually North Daniels jumping in to defend Sue Daniels and Sue Daniels defending North Daniels. Now, I can see if it was a racial thing, you know what I'm saying, or if it started over a racial comment, you know what I'm saying? And therefore, I think both sides should be ready to fucking rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, if a bison gets fucking, you know, disrespected and called out of his name on the fucking yard. And he tries to defend himself, and you got these other races trying to bully him. North Daniels and Sue Daniels should fucking rise up and rock. That's how it's supposed to be. You know? Especially uh, uh, being aligned with the old North Daniel ideologies, which means we're supposed to stand against oppression. Now, the one thing that, that I hope does not occur is I hope, that, I hope the corruption doesn't start to infiltrate the ranks to where, because there's such a powerful relationship, that they start to oppress other people. You know what I'm saying? Because for years, that's something that the North Daniels stood against was being oppressed. And you're already kind of seeing that with the Bulldogs, the way they're being treated. You know what I'm saying? Just to be honest with you, they're trying to fucking survive it and push that line. And you got any yard they get you, they're getting jumped by fucking numbers. You know what I'm saying? I hope that we recognize that, that this wasn't what North Daniels were about as far as the Cosa, the Lucha and all that. We were supposed to stand forth against oppression and abuses. Don't become fucking the predator. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it, you know. Um, that's just my thought, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the Bulldogs today have it as bad as fucking North Daniels did in the 90s. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, we didn't have it bad, bad. We had to fight for ours, though. That's the difference, you know what I'm saying? And you're seeing that <clears throat> You're seeing that with the Bulldogs. They're getting sent to the Bay. They're getting sent to fucking Ironwood. They're getting sent to all these different locations, you know what I'm saying? And administration knows what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? You can't force groups to coexist. You got to have di diplomacy within these groups first and foremost. You know, but uh, yeah, it's not a bad thing, man. You know, someone put a comment when I said, um, you know, we'll skip right about what he said on the TikTok. I said he's 100% right. According to the reg laws and the bylaws, he's 100% fucking right. Unless those reg laws and bylaws changed and you fucking got rid of the cause and lucha, then it changes everything. You know, but. At the same time, I'm all about the, the peace and so forth and unity that is coexisting. I just hope that one side isn't being the other side's more fucking uh, errand boy is what I'm worried about. As long as there's a working relationship as far as respect and so forth, then I don't, I don't see no problem with it, man. But it is what it is. You know, there's been a lot of bloodshed. There's been a lot of killings and, and all kinds of stuff, man. But most of that, especially up north, wasn't with, with the Vatos from down south. The Vatos from down south, they kill each other. They still got to rock with each other in prison. So what's the difference here? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's... that When I hear that argument by people, I start to question. See, I, I get the part about fucking being up north and Sudan was establishing neighborhoods. Yeah, it should, shouldn't happen to me. I mean, it shouldn't happen, period. That's my personal opinion. Because it's Northern Califas. You know what I'm saying? But times have changed and gangbanging is not the way it used to be. You know what I'm saying? No longer do these groups have a fucking agenda as far as fucking, you know, either trying to control fucking the territory, have no North Daniels on it, or 
No, Thanos is trying to have an established foothold where they can program. Everybody gets along now, except for those that they deem as adversaries. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, this incident right here, man, was kind of a, I thought it was an interesting fucking uh, situation, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've never really heard of North Daniels and Sulegan was rocking until recently. Now, Fig told me a story that happened in Soledad back in, I think, shit, 71 or 70, I forgot it, to where they got off with the fucking whites. NF, MA, and all those that were associated because an individual from uh, Compton got disrespected by a white. By a white. That individual wasn't NF yet, but he eventually became NF. You know what I'm saying? And all these fucking main dudes were all there. And they had a big old fucking riot over fucking the Rasa being disrespected. So, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with what's, being, what's going on. You know what I'm saying? If you can coexist and get along, fuck it. Why not? It's less bloodshed. You know what I'm saying? That's my personal theory, man. I, used to, I started thinking like that, man, when I was in fucking Corkman sometimes, man. The shoe talking to some of these vatas from down south that I really started to like that I thought were cool. And I realized they're like people just like any other people. You know what I'm saying? That they like to fucking kick back and drink fucking Coronas and Modelos or whatever. Listen to oldies. Do a kind of and post up. You know what I mean? They liked it when they were younger, cruising their, their low riders and hitting the strip and macking on broads and all that, man. The same life that we live up north, the same life they live down south, man. Or anywhere. You know what I'm saying? The culture really doesn't change that much. You know? And um, and there's also gonna be those that you may not like. There was hella North Daniels I couldn't fucking stand. But because I was part of that group, I had to fucking respect them. Same thing with the Sudanios. Not every Sudanio I liked. Some of them were fucking I didn't give a fuck about. But there were some that were fucking cool as fuck, man. And I think that in general, it's a good thing because now you can base your relationships based upon individuality instead of based upon association or affiliations. I've always felt that's more important in how you deal with people as a man is to look at that person and respect them for who they are and who they want to be as a person, not as what they are. You know what I'm saying? Because there's two sides to every coin. You get what I'm saying? Anyways, a little quick spill about it, man. A little quick uh, perspective. Hope you guys have a positive one. I'm gone.